Hey everyone, it's Mike from Skill of Strength and MMA Fight Prep. What I'm going to show you today is one of my favorite drills to achieve a better overhead position. Now, before you dive into this drill, um, make sure that you address a couple things. One, do a few minutes of diaphragmatic breathing. That's always going to help. And two, you want to address the soft tissue. Specifically, you want to focus on uh, your pec, pec minor, uh, lats, subscap, uh, rhomboids, traps, sort of everything that would um, decrease mobility in general. Um, the beauty of this drill is it allows you to lock down your lumbar spine so you can really achieve good uh, mobility in the overhead position. So, we're going to dive right in. All you need is a Swiss ball. So, the setup here is you're going to get basically in this sort of prayer position and you're going to just sit back. Now, we want to rock back and I actually want you to flex the uh, lumbar spine slightly. It's not a big, big flex position, but you're going to want to lock it down a little bit. The opposing hand, um, you can do one of two things. Um, if you're very, very tight, you can keep it straight, okay? Because this may be a challenge for you if you're very, very tight. If not, you can go down into this sort of position where you're resting on the elbow. Either way is fine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit back into that position. Um, my hand is gonna be sort of on the side of the ball, not on top. So from here, I'm just gonna do some light oscillations side to side. My uh, palm is going to stay intact on the Swiss ball when we do this, so about 15, 20 of these. Then from there, I'll walk my fingers up a little bit more on top of the ball and then do that again. Side to side. Now when you're doing these oscillations, uh, do your best to keep the elbow locked. If you're very, very tight, you're going to want to have that tendency to bend the elbow, but try to do your best to keep that locked down. Now after we do a couple sets of oscillations, uh, then we can dive into the, uh, the meat and potatoes of the drill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hand directly on top of the Swiss ball. And again, I was locked. I'm going to sit back into this sort of prayer position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up and I'm going to push down hard on top of the ball. I'm going to feel my lats firing, my serratus. Um, I'm going to feel a lot going on. So, I'm going to press down hard for five seconds, and then after that five seconds, I'm just going to do some light oscillations for 15 to 20. So here we go. So what I like to do is three to five sets of this to start off. So you start off with some oscillations, walk the hand up, do a few more oscillations, and then you do the, uh, the basic p and drill where you're gonna press down hard for five seconds and then you're gonna do some oscillations again for 15 to 20. Um, three to five sets is a good place to start. Um, obviously, you know, do both sides. Uh, if you have um, sort of equal mobility restrictions on both shoulders. Um, after you do this drill, you need to cement it. So a great way to cement it is uh, by doing drills like Turkish get-ups, overhead walks, um, seated wall slides. Really what you want to focus on is any drill that's going to allow you to achieve a nice overhead position, but we need to make sure that we're not stealing um, mobility from our low back. Oftentimes, when people do shoulder mobility drills, they really hyperextend their lumbar spine. When they do that, they're not actually achieving a good overhead position. They're actually just stealing mobility from their lower back to achieve a greater range of motion in the overhead position when, in all actuality, they're not actually gaining range of motion in the overhead position. They're just changing the mechanics below. So give it a try and let me know what you think. 